Hello everyone, welcome back to another KSP video and welcome to a, another ridiculous stupid video that I just love. look at that. <laughs> it's a giant hotel flipped upside down on top of a rocket. You guys are probably either confused, dying, or I don't, I don't know what, what's happening. I may have just, just murdered everybody with this ridiculous thing that you just, it's just so stupid that you probably just, the stupidity is transferred to you guys and you just like die. But I'm not dead, so I'm gonna launch the rocket. So and I'm great FPS, we'll go into the time lapse here in just a second, just about now, and there it goes, we've started to go up. Um, so today we are going to be launching, as you can probably tell by the title, a, a giant um, hotel, um, Jeb Tower, as you can see by its name. This is obviously this is Jeb Tower complete. Yep, yep, Jeb Tower, Jeb's Hotel, his epic, amazing hotel uh, slash casino slash amazing place that is going to be going to a place called Dress. I know not a lot of people have heard of it, but there is a place in KSP known as Dress. Um, and we're going to be taking the Jeb Tower to Drez because, you know, we need, we need some hotels at Drez because, uh, if you don't know, I'm currently in the process of making Drez great again as part of my series that I have been going on now for about a week, a uh, week and a half maybe. Uh, this is part six, I believe, of the series. Uh, we've done a bunch of cool stuff. We have uh, space stations, SSTOs, rovers, spaces, it's all cool, but now we need a hotel so all the, all the people can come. Come, come tourism and witness the amazingness that is Drez after Jeb and Bill win the election and become God King of God King of Drez. It's going to be amazing. Now, another thing that you're probably noticing uh, about this launch is we are, we are not doing a gravity turn right now, are we? Normally, you know, you'd expect you're going up and then you're kind of starting to tip over a little bit and you're starting to, you know, accelerate and get some horizontal velocity. No, we do not do such normal people things we go straight up because that is that is that is this, the reason we're doing that is that um the hotel step tower is a giant rectangle coming into the airstream and it is super super heavy so basically what happens is because it has, it has so much drag up there on the top and it's so much heavy the rocket is super super flippy so like i tried for about an hour and it, i like put wings everywhere and rcs and everything and the thing would not stop flipping over. So I just decided, eh, let's just chuck a bunch of extra fuel tanks on and then we can go, what we're going to do is we're going to go straight up, cut the engine, stage the uh, first stage, and then we're going to go straight sideways and then burn that way. And we are just coming up to Miko right there, or the completion of our first stage, which is those four radially mounted boosters, um, which will all detach and then we will start burning our second stage, which has six rhinos, I believe, and then three vectors. So I'm just going to bring my maneuver node out, and that will get ourselves in a circular orbit-ish around Kerbin. This is this is the least efficient way to do a uh, flight, by the way. Like, if you if you are looking for an efficient way to do it, you want to be looking at any other way f to doing it than this. Like, you could probably fly backwards for half of your flight, turn around, and then go into orbit normally, and you would still probably be more efficient than this. It is stupid and bad. Speaking of stupid and bad things, there's a stupid and bad thing mounted on top of this rocket, a giant gold stupid thing, and I used radiators as windows to kind of look like windows. I don't know if I did a good job. Maybe. Let me know. I probably screwed it all up. One thing I am pretty happy about is if you look at the bottom, uh, there is um, there is some doors. So um, you can, there's actually an interior I made for the for the bottom floor. There's like a tiny little there's a little room in there with some some interior stuff. So <laughs> stay tuned to the end if you want to. We'll, we'll go inside and we'll have a look at what's going on in the amazing, tremendous, huge building. What kind of what kind of setup they got going on? It's actually pretty cool. I'm pretty happy with how it came out. Uh, but right now, what we're doing is planning our maneuver node. It's a pretty pretty basic concept. You just uh, you just plan the maneuver node, um, which is what I'm doing. This is the um, inefficient maneuver node um, because uh, yeah, bad, inefficient, no, no, no bueno. Um, yeah, well, I was at the wrong transfer window, so I had to just just get to a better transfer window, and then I went ahead and went ahead and done did, done did my burn. Uh, pretty basic, just about 14, 15, 1500 ish meters a second to go out to Jazz. It's usually maybe a little closer to sixteen hundred. I was a little bit higher of an orbit, 
But now I'm going to be deploying uh, the solar panels. And another question you may, guys may have is why on earth is the Jeb Tower upside down? That is another good question. Um, the reason for that is there's a it's uh, mounted to a sky crane, um, which is going to land it like vertically, like the engines are on the top. It's a sky crane basically, and I have and the sky crane is mounted at the bottom near the rocket, uh, just so I could have just so I could have an easier mounting system because it would have been kind of weird to kind of mount the rocket to the bottom of the of the hotel itself so that's kind of why it's like that so when we detach it it'll kind of do a flip maneuver and then it'll, it'll land it has four vectors on the sky crane and like 850 meters a second of delta v so it will have absolutely no problem landing on Drez. Uh, another thing i do guys want to want to say while we're planning our uh, correction burns they're kind of boring so i'll talk about something else um guys guys do you know how many subs i've got <laughs> like okay so my last video was the poll video where I went to like the mysterious destination it was called and I went to poll. That video has just exploded. I don't know why. YouTube has just decided they love me today. I don't I don't get it. I've gotten like 80 subs in the last two days. Oh last day. It's been less than 24 hours. It is <laughs> why? Why YouTube? Like if you when you go into YouTube studio your and you look at your analytics it shows you your, the video that you just released and how it ranks in comparison to other videos like it'll say like uh, in the first five hours of it being up your video did you know it did it was in third place it did better than this and worse than this and this video had you know XYZ views I checked it this morning um, the poll video was ranked number one out of the most recent 10 videos I uploaded it was at 1200 views like 12 hours after it was released and then I looked at the, maybe it was about 15, 16, 17 hours. And then I looked at the second place video. It was at 300. So the best video on my channel's history, about pretty much actually, did 300 views in 17 hours. And then this video did 1,200. So that's a little nuts. I don't know why. I don't know why. Okay, I'm gonna stop talking about that. That's just it. Just kind of blew my mind. So, um, if you're not subscribed and you want to, uh, feel free. We also have a Discord where we're gonna start doing some fun challenges and stuff in. Uh, we're gonna, yeah, some KSP challenges, kind of like the old Reddit challenges. So, if you're interested in that, uh, there would be a Discord link in the description. It's actually a pretty fun place. We have some cool people there. Um, so, feel free to join. And that is it about me. I want to go back to the mission and the amazing, huge, tremendous, amazing, better than anyone else's hotel that is definitely not bankrupt. Um, that is going to be coming in to land at Drez, right next to my surface base and rover that we already have already have sent there. Um, if you don't know, by the way, this is this is a recreation. This this hotel. Um, no brick solar panel, but. Um, yeah, this is, this is, if you're not in the loop, there's, there's this, there's this guy who's the president of America, and he used to own some hotels and casinos, and one of those happened to be in Las Vegas and be gold, and that's, so I made that one because, you know, gold, that's the state, you guys know Donald, you guys know the Donald, so coming in now to land this is this is the sketchy bit i was really worried about landing because i was afraid it was gonna it was gonna explode um i didn't really think that um that was where and i didn't even retract some of their solar panels so that's kind of annoying if you're in, into the uh um oh what's it called <laughs> okay never mind um you know where you like oh i don't like issues I, i'm having issues right now honestly um but um, OCD, that's the one, OCD, but, so just gonna maneuver myself, this is why I packed that extra Delta V, so I can kind of skirt my way over to the, to the base if need be, um, if I didn't land perfectly accurately, which is really hard to do, so I just decided to, yeah, let's, let's skirt our way over, I'm gonna land on top of that hill, because I'm like, ooh, that could be cool, we could overlook the base or whatever, or, yeah, or the canyon, or, well, yeah, the canyon's right there, you can't really see the canyon, but, yeah, it's out there, so we're just skirting our way over, Trying to come in, I'm, this is, mind you, I'm trying to do this at 10 FPS, it is not fun at all. But actually the dress, the, the hotel itself was actually fairly easy to maneuver because the vectors have so much gimbal range and I have a ton of reaction wheels on it. 
Uh, this was this was easier to land than the base because it was the base was quite a bit heavier than this and like hundred parts more. So, um, speaking of the base, um, where 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 did it go? I I was wondering, like that's my flat where my base is supposed to be. It it, it isn't there. Um, I'll have to get it. Oh, I, I'll I'll, do, I'll look at that. I'll look into that later. Right now I'm done focusing on the landing. Uh, I do end up EVAing a Kerbal to go examine the situation. Spoiler alert, it's interesting. So we're just coming down now, um, doing the final, uh, this is, yeah, this is where we're going to be landing right here on this hill. I was a little bit worried because a little bit sloped and, you know, this thing is not exactly, you know, it's, it's pretty skinny and, you know, it, 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 it has the potential to tip. Luckily there's no wind dungeons and, it, you know, it's also not very, doesn't have a very good, uh, Structural integrity is kind of prompted to the ground. Is it? No, yeah, you know, a lot of buildings have like those like 30 foot giant cement posts that just anchor it to the ground. We have none of that. We have gravity. Which as Drez is not a lot, but we're coming in now. And touchdown! We did it! We we made it! Welcome to Drez, guys. Welcome to Drez. It's a little bit tippy, but you know, we made it nonetheless. So the next step after we've assured ourselves that the building is not going to tip over, I'm going to switch over, well I'm not going to switch over, but I'm going to uh, detach my sky crane and that will happen a momentarily after I just assure that we're actually land and then I will uh, crash that thing into somewhere, um, you'll see in a second, but it is unnecessary, we don't want to have that um, inferior piece of garbage sky crane getting in the way of my epic, amazing, huge, epic, better, amazing, I'm just repeating myself now. But there we go, it's just gonna take it off the base, and then in a second here, when I get further, not the base, the hotel, when I get for, and far enough away from the hotel, uh, the speed will actually increase, so this will be awesome. We have finally, guys, we have done it. We have done our very first real estate deal in Drez. It's, see, I told you, we're making it great. We, we, we've brought the good deals back to the to the planet. Look, we, we've done an epic real estate deal. They have now like one of the best hotels ever in there. Obviously, like this, the, the pinnacle, Jeb Tower is the pinnacle of resort entertainment. Just get a tiny little glimpse to the inside there. But um, actually, I actually am curious about my base. I'm like, okay, what? Where did it? Where did it go? Um, <laughs> I go fly over there. And you can see, there's my flag. Like, my flag where I planted at the base is is there. Like, you can see it. It, it, it. It's right there. And there's a Kerbal just hanging out right there. I don't know where that guy came from, but there's... You can kind of see him in the background there. There's a Kerbal. Like, what? My theory is that my... Actually, my, my theory uh, is that my base just kind of slid away. Um... It was, it was kind of sliding very slowly in the last uh, Make Sure It's Great Again video, and you could see it kind of... So my theory is it just it just completely just slid into oblivion. So I'm going to have to go figure out where it, where it, where it wound up. I'm going to have to go grab my rover, maybe like tug it back. That might be... Maybe I'll do that in one of the videos. Probably not. I don't think you guys want to see me tugging a, a base along that. would be a very boring video, but I'll fix it. Because we need, we need all the structures to be united, right? We need all them to be united. Um, last thing we're going to do in this video is I'm going to uh, go into the uh, into the hotel and we're going to have a look at the inside. So if you stayed for that, um, you're going to get it now. The music just cut out. That's intentional, by the way. You know, we're doing like a dramatic effect or some cool editing. If I don't know, I don't know how to edit. Um, yeah. Maybe me. I think my editing has gotten better in the in the last few videos. Maybe that's why they're getting so many views. But um, my method of kind of entering the inside is kind of janky. They have, they have to like transfer between vehicles because you know you only have really one door on the on each com on pods. So I had to like in the one door transfer and then come out the other door. Uh, but either way, um, welcome to the inside of the hotel. We have a bunch of make sure it's great again flags as always. You know we can't not have them. This is like campaign headquarters or something maybe this will be how we have all their fancy dinners because we have we do have some some tables or my best attempt at a table i don't know if that's good or all but uh yeah that's gonna do it for today guys so i'd like to thank you for watching we'll see you next time please write or comment to this video once again thank you for watching we'll see you next time and bye